up, Chanel? Welcome to a new episode of Vital Vinyl Vlog. Today we're going to be blasting New Jersey's dethroned emperor, moral nihility. NVNM Productions, number 58 out of 100. One of my favorite NVNM releases right here. So fucking good. Seriously. This is such a sick release. If you've never heard it, I'll put a link in the video description. It might be hard to grab a copy physically, but if you can find one, yo, this is so fucking good. And this is brought to you by some of the same gentlemen that have brought you Altar of Gore, DSS, Blasphematory, the fucking list goes on and on. Siege Column, it's fucking awesome. Dethroned Emperor, Moral Nihility. Wow. NVNM Productions, Respect New Jersey or Prepare for Combat. This is killer. It's super grindy, super pissed off, and super East Coast. And speaking of East Coast, this split right here is an awesome split between a West Coast power violence band and what I would call an East Coast hardcore band. They've played this hardcore fest, but they can kind of go anywhere in that category of fast hardcore, power violence, grind. It's kind of jumbled when it comes to... Despise You and Coke Bust together on a 7-inch split. Nine tracks of total, total fucking depravity. From the art alone, this is a gnarly one. Like, this photograph, holy shit. Yeah. Despise You hailing from the West Coast and Coke Bust hailing from the main streets of... Washington, D.C., L.A., D.C. So you get these two cities that are very, very over-glamorized in American culture. Like, when you think of D.C., you think of monuments, museums. You don't think of the other side of things, like the poverty, the crime. Like, it's a gnarly city that I compare to West Baltimore even when it comes to violence, drug use, all that stuff. And the same goes for LA. LA is like the city people think of where dreams come true, where the reality of it is you better watch where you're stepping in your sandals or you might end up with a fucking syringe in your foot. Like a lot of Los Angeles are tent cities and it's fucking a gnarly place where not everything goes right and despise you, let you know that, yo, the world's a fucked up place and it isn't getting any better and Coke Buster right on their heels. And to the last of my knowledge, this is how long it's been and I have to thank Matt for throwing this my way as well as another despise you seven inch, which I'm gonna go over separately. But like, the despise you tracks, it's not, a West Side Horizon. It's not a full length. It's fucking one instrumental track and then four regular tracks and you're in and you're out and if you're like me, you just want fucking more and which is why I'm so happy to have another Despise You release to go over and again, like that photo is fucked up. Yes, that's a dad that looks to be smoking crack in front of his children but again I'm gonna go over this in a different video but Matt was rad enough to send over the despise you coke bust split 7 inch and that's one of the things that's awesome about a band like despise you their discography is like a mile fucking long and it's kind of like pick your poison like it's up to you. What do you want to listen to? Because, like, a record like West Side Horizons is just like, wow. It's so fucking good, and I really wish I could remember 
the name of the Coke Bust full length I used to have because it was so fucking good. Like, I think I got it at a show they played with. It was like Magruder Grind, uh, Insect Warfare, I think, was there, and Weekend Nachos. It was a festival, but, like, I remember getting to see all those bands under one roof and just being like, holy fuck, like, this is sick! And I still love both bands, like, but I'm not sure if Coke Busts are still straight edge, but being a straight edge band, that's one of the best names ever. Coke Bust? It's literally on the nose when it comes to an awesome straight edge band name. And literally, like, also the fact this is on Bone Brigade Records, that is awesome. Seriously, awesome. But Coke Bust really remind me of how fast you can see people fall due to cocaine. Like, seriously, I'm not even trying to get off topic from how fucking savage these tunes are. Because I love their poster here. For whom it's wrongful to exist, which you continue to dismiss, when we're confronted with the truth, and we know what we have to do. And you get some, like, fucking awesome, awesome live photograph with some, you know, average cut-and-paste grindy stuff. It's fucking sick. That's what I mean. Like, Coke Bust have those, like, grindy, just DIY ethics. And I think that's what makes them, to me, stand out as a hardcore band is their, you know willingness to just do something outside of the box and I fucking love them for that reason and despise you like this cover art of all these missiles dropping on Los Angeles this could be conceived in so many different ways like I kind of look at this and I don't see that you know World War 3 is imminent I see that Los Angeles is pretty much and I guess I was right on this, was a powder keg ready to explode. But it can also be seen as the mass migration to what most people see as, as happiness. Like, I'm gonna move to Los Angeles and I'm gonna become an actor. Chances are you're gonna end up on the fucking street smoking crack. Like, I've seen people go, like, within a month's time period go from just doing a little toot ski of cocaine to full on smoking crack and having a nickname like Crackhead Joe. I'm not even joking. There's this dude that used to be around. That was his name. It was like, oh, yo, that's Crackhead Joe. Like, he's cool. And it's like, is he? His name's Crackhead Joe. Like, should we help the guy? And it's like, ah, oh, nah, he's good. It's Crackhead Joe. I'm a little more sympathetic, and, you know, like, I, I look at someone, and I see their obvious, like, moral dilemma. It's like, all right, you're addicted to hard fucking drugs, yo. Like, and these people, they have families that love them, but they, they care more, and they love the drugs more than they love their own families. And that's what a release like this, like, it's one of the subjects that's, like, brought to light through the music of Despise You and Coke Bust. They definitely, a band like Coke Bust definitely has seen some of their friends in the punk community and stuff just go down the tubes because that shit happens very, very fast to where it's like, one night you're at a house party. You try some fucking drug out. Next thing you know, this is a needle and you're trying to find veins in your arm. Like, I had a friend and, you know, he started doing house shows and whatnot. And, you know, next thing I know, this dude that I, I didn't look up to, but I looked up to his ethics. 
the way he looked at the world and everything was something that was positive. He was somebody that if he had five dollars and he knew you needed gas to get somewhere, he would give you that five dollars. And then hard drugs came into his life. I'm talking about crack, heroin, and he became a completely different person. And then like a month into full-blown addiction, he had shot his arms out so bad that he couldn't lift them. Like he would go up and arm would fall. Lift his arm up, arm would fall. And he was legit a human pin cushion. And whenever I listen to Despise You especially, I think of that one night on my friend's back porch and him being like, yeah, I had to take time off work and me not knowing the situation and asking like, yeah, like what happened? And he just lifts his arm up and it falls right back down. And I was like, I was like, I was like, wait, like you separate your, sh I wasn't even thinking heroin at this time period. I was like, what'd you like pull your shoulder out? Like, like what's going on? Cause he worked for like, you know, a company that's not USPS. Like, and fuck them by the way, they happened to lose my cemetery filth LP. Fucking assholes. But he worked for a company like FedEx and you know, they didn't help him out at all with like, yo, I think you need to go to rehab. It was just like, yo, you need to take a little bit of time off and you know, get better. It wasn't like, here's a way to get better. It was like, yo, you're on your own. It doesn't matter that we're some multi-fucking million dollar corporation. Fuck you. Like, you know, you shouldn't have been doing drugs, dude. And that's one of the things that, you know, again, it's there. It's just, this release might not dive into it because it is a split and... Like I said, with both bands, you get super fast songs, you're in, you're out, and you're pissed the fuck off at the end of the listen. And I think that's the point. But Despise You open things up with Temples of Grace on Hyde Park Boulevard. Instrumental. Stillborn. Fuck it. Give this. Get that. All Souls LB. And Bluest Skies. Where Coke Bust have Closing the Net, Weakest Link, Plan B, and Community Abuser. This split right here is a killer slab of West Coast Power Violence and East Coast Hardcore with a Power Violence grindy edge to it. That's the best way I feel I can describe this. It's something you need to hear for yourself. And if you've ever been in, like, the punk scene, and if you still are in the punk scene, and you see friends of yours start experimenting with stuff that's not, you know, marijuana, you may want to say something. Or, you know, mind your own business until that person ends up stealing from you, and it's like, Man, I really should have said something to him while I had the chance. But some people, you know, that's just the life they want to lead. And next thing you know, they're hanging out with you every day. And then one day they passed away in their sleep. And they're gone forever. Like, I've lost... Actually, it's an even amount of friends, which is very odd it's five on each end here so I've lost ten friends of mine five to heroin overdoses five but then five due to riding crotch rockets seriously be careful if you ride motorcycles do not fucking show off and if you're going to work just go to work don't fucking be popping wheelies in between cars. I've lost too many friends due to bullshit. 
and it fucking sucks. But what doesn't suck is when you mix bands like Despise You and Coke Bus. You put them on seven inches of wax and you let them run the fuck wild. Killer, killer, power violence, hardcore, grind. This is a perfect hybrid of everything. Fast hardcore. It's fucking sick. Get into it. Despise you from Los Angeles and Washington, D.C.'s Coke Bust on Bone Brigade's records. Thank you, Matt, for throwing this my way. And hails to NVNM Productions, New Jersey, Dethroned Emperor, Moral Nility. This comp right here is absolutely amazing. It features pretty much every song I think that Moral Nility ever recorded. Between December 2012 and January 2013. And Dethroned Emperor was Joe Aversnio on guitars, bass, and vocals. And T-Warrior on drums and vocals. Again, I love that cover as well. And if you can get a copy of this, do it. It's so fucking sick. But again, thank you, Matt B. in the UK. You're the man. Despise you and Coke Bust on Bone Brigade Records. Get into it. Even if you're new to power violence and stuff, this is a definite good gateway into the genre. And even though I keep, you know, saying Coke Bust is a hardcore band, they're one of those things you can take any way you really want. Like, there is no wrong answer when it comes to what Coke Bust sound like. But at the end of the day, both of these bands do sound like one thing, and that's being pissed the fuck off. So, if you're pissed and you need that little sonic bit of company to, you know, be pissed off with, you can't go wrong with this 7-inch right here. Fuck yeah. But as always, thanks for watching, you fucking rule. Hey,